This one is on high efficiency heat exchangers. And I'm just going to kind of look at this. This is a heat exchanger that's been taken out of a furnace. And I'll give you some ideas of how this thing works and what the components are. Normally you'll have a set of burners and they'll kind of look like this. They will actually, they're called in-shot burners, and they'll actually shoot the fire into the primary heat exchangers, two heat exchangers, primary and secondary. Okay, as the flame goes in there, that's when the heat exchanger starts to pull the heat off the, uh, the hot gases. As soon as these gases are pretty well burned, then that's what that heat exchanger's job is. Okay. While we got this open like this, this is a manifold here. There's a plastic manifold put over here. This pipe right here, the gases that come from here and end up down here, and it takes them into the secondary heat exchanger. And I'm going to look at the back side of this and we'll see what all the rest of this stuff looks like. Here we're looking at the side of the primary heat exchanger. The burners shoot in here. The gas comes through here like this. You notice some discoloration there because it's very hot. Uh, as the gas comes through here, air is passing over this heat exchanger and it's picking up the heat. So the gas starts cooling as it goes. And you can see it's kind of a torturous way through this. This is a clamshell heat exchanger, by the way, because it kind of two pieces are put together. So that's kind of a torturous path here to go around, and that's scrubbing the heat exchanger. It means the air, uh, the hot gases inside are hitting the sides of this heat exchanger and transferring the heat. And then it passes out. Uh, on that end, that was a second set, bottom set of holes on the original view I showed you. Then, when they pass out through there, they go through that manifold and they come to this pipe here. Okay, this pipe comes along here and goes to a manifold. And you can see that air conditioning looking thing there. It looks kind of like an air conditioning coil. Okay, let's look at where it goes after it comes through this pipe. Yeah, on the left, you can see this pipe I was showing you before. Comes this manifold back here. I'm going to pull this manifold cover off and you can see what it looks like inside. Okay, here you can see with this manifold cover taken off, there's all these little pipes along here. And of course, they go through that air conditioning coil and are extracted out the other side. Well, let's take a look at what these things are here. Okay, you can see this thing I'm pulling out of there. Okay. Okay, here you can see I've taken that swizzle stick out. That's what we call them as a kind of a swizzle stick. What it's supposed to do is as the gas comes through there, it forces it out to the edge of the pipe and gives more exposure of the hot gases to the air passing over the coil and scrubs the rest of the heat out of it. Okay, all of this is made out of stainless steel. Everything on the secondary heat exchanger is stainless steel. The primary heat exchanger is not stainless steel. It's an aluminized mild steel. The reason it's there and not stainless, stainless doesn't transfer heat as fast as mild steel does. So we don't use stainless steel until we have to, and that's in that secondary heat exchanger. Remember, you got carbolic and sulfuric acids in the condensate that comes out of this thing. While we're talking about it, let's talk about what the condensate really is. When gas burns, the chemical reaction takes some of the chemicals in the gas and turns them into water. Okay, it's steam at that point because it's well above freezing. So, as it goes through the heat exchanger, it starts to cool. Well, when it gets to the point where it'll cool enough to condense the water out of it, 
that's when we use this secondary heat exchanger. And the secondary heat exchanger will condense the water out and absorb latent heat from the water as we condense it into a liquid. So we get a little more heat out of it from that latent heat conversion. So this is why we put these secondary heat exchangers in here on these high efficiency furnaces. Number one, to uh, use stainless steel so that it does not corrode. I won't say none of them corrode, but some of them do. But, uh, but they use stainless steel in there and they're trying to scrub the rest of the heat out but more importantly they're trying to condense the water out of the gas and so if you condense it you get the heat that was in it so anyway that's how most of these heat exchangers are put together uh, some of them are differently designed than this some of them are look like exhaust pipe tubing and, and then a, a coil like this on uh, like this one uses underneath it or something like that but most of them do pretty much the same thing as this one here does. So that is the two-stage high-efficiency heat exchanger for the gas furnace.